just get a deer in the back of the truck. Really? You do the same. Take care. Yeah, 14 point buck. His antlers have 14 points on it. Oh. Some pretty tight streets to drive around on in our big van. Across to Mexico. We could. It's probably safer over there. Yeah, <laughs> which is right there. That's a border patrol. Turn right, then turn left. We made it to Laredo, Texas. We are just right outside the Republic of the Rio Grande Museum. This is one of the few places on Earth that ever occupied by seven different governmental uh, in the history. The Republic of Rio Grande, Republic of Texas, Mexico, Spain, France, United States, and Confederacy. It's all seven there. It's an interesting story. Laredo has a very rich history. And many of the must-see tourist attractions can be found right here in the city center. Yep, we're enjoying our day in Laredo, Texas. It's a bit overwhelming, but we're, we're handling it. Yep, good. Well, stay safe. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much for doing this. No COVID tests today, so they're only doing the people that they already got appointments with. Canada's closed. All the countries are closed. Yep. This is Mexico. All we had to do is make a run for it. And we could be <laughs> in Mexico, so, but not today. <laughs> I think if we made a run for it, we could be getting in a little trouble, so. Yep. That's Nuevo Laredo on the other side. So close. Yet so far. So that's a Rio Grande. And many years ago, I stayed in this hotel during Savannah Studio in college. And hey, be able to see Mexico and Rio Grande across. We actually saw a few people try to cross. Uh, this is back in 2001. <laughs> it's really slow here, isn't it? Really nothing. <laughs> it actually looks like a town that you would find on the other side of the border. Definitely hard hit by the border crossing, I'm sure. I don't think I've ever seen so many perfume stores. Yeah. There's literally a perfume store. And I've seen lots of them everywhere, like there, there, back there. It's smelly. That's why Mexicans smell pretty, <laughs> I guess. So in closing, what do you think of Laredo? It's pretty dead. You know, I think that the border crossing has a lot to do with it. It's probably a pretty great place in normal times, but you know, when there's nobody coming across and the town is not fulfilling its general purpose, then you know probably restaurants have closed down, stores have, all the perfume places are open though, that's the main thing. Inspection station. That's right, we have to go through the formalities of the U.S. Immigration uh, Inspection okay. Station. Yeah, somebody in the back. Right there. Okay, thanks. It was a simple process for us. Very windy. It's pretty windy. Speed limit here is 75, but I'm sticking with 65 because I don't need any self-created wind. There's <laughs> it out there. And we arrived at Lake Amistad that night. I'm so glad we get a generator and a coffee maker. It's a typical morning in our journey. We always wake up six or actually before seven and just watch the sunrise. There you go, the sun is out now. So cute, you're so cute. Hmm? You're so cute, kinda. You're just glad you have someone to serve it to you in bed. Yes. I didn't sleep well last night at all. I think we need to dish out the $85 or so. We'll find something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you taking your coffee with you? I am, and I'm gonna take a nap after. Being able to sleep well at night takes priority. So we went off to find the nearest big store to get an additional mattress. And the closest Walmart is in the town of Del Rio, which is not far away actually from yeah. the Amistad National Recreation Area. About 10 miles. You know, you always think grocery stores in the U.S. is all the same, but it is absolutely regional. Yeah, even Walmart changes. Like there's more Hispanic kind of stuff here than would be in, for example, in Atlanta. Yeah, love it. This is great. Yep. We already have one of these on there, but it wasn't enough. So this is the one I want. Comes rolled up like this. 
$79 plus tax, so probably about $82, $83. Let's go. All right. We also need Coleman propane tanks for our outdoor propane stove, and we haven't been able to find any, and we're out. And Walmart usually has them right here, but I'm gonna go check and see if they have propane, propane tanks. cylinders in yep. here. Good luck. All right, I'll be right back. They don't have it? Really? Yeah, uh, they sell them, but they don't, they don't have any, and apparently camping has become big during the pandemic, and people need these, so. New addition to our RV from Walmart, 50 bucks. Okay, back to our main issue here, our bed. These are seats that normally fold down and there's sort of an armrest here or a casing that keeps the seat in where it's supposed to be. And when you lie down on it, you'd think that this would be enough protection, but you're, you go down and you see this metal stuff here. It really kind of digs into your leg. So what we originally did is bought this, what they call egg carton. They provided a little bit of protection here, but really for the past month or so, I have not been sleeping very well at all and I needed something new. In addition to this one and a half inch protection, we'll have it on the two. So we'll have three and a half inches of foam underneath of us. Our bed is sort of between a king and a queen. So I had to buy the king size one. It turns out there's enough room on the sides of these beds just to kind of press it in. Let me see if that makes a big difference. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fine because we have two or three things that go on top of this too. There'll be a couple more small things on here that'll give us a little bit of protection as well. We have a new mattress. Oh my God, so comfortable. <laughs> We're gonna sleep well tonight. Hollis. 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 You can wake up now. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> Big difference, oh. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. We are getting ready to grill out. We are going to use the grill for the first time, but I decided to buy some charcoal. I bought match light, which is way more expensive. I didn't realize it because I haven't used charcoal in a long time. But we got a new piece of information today, which is really important to know. Burning charcoal inside can kill you. Oh my God. Yes, this is clearly on there for the American audience. <laughs> Or Canadians. Or probably Canadians, I don't know. But I don't know why you need to be told that. It's time to relax. And while we're waiting for the grill to warm up, it's time to open a fine bottle of red. How often I really like this wine called Castillo San Simon, Tempranillo, and you can get it at HEB in Texas for the absolutely exorbitant price of $2.98. A lot of places have cheap wines and they taste cheap. This one tastes cheap, but not quite as cheap as the other ones, so. We actually like, like this one. We do. I don't know what Tempranillo is, but. That's a kind of grapes. Why well, I know that. Well, I don't know. We know, neither one of us knows that, but. Well, it's we just assume like a fruit so. about we yay big. We know what grapes are. That's a good wine. It's probably their house brand. Hashtag Castillo San Simon. Hashtag H E B. Hashtag H E B. <laughs> Hashtag wine o'clock. I think it is Vizzy o'clock. Vizzy o'clock. I don't really want people to know that I drink. Vizzy. Vizzy for me. Grab me a beer. It's nothing for you. It's my whiskey. <laughs> Consolation. Consolation. It's uh, black cherry and lime. I'd rather have a beer though. One thing that we really like to do is add just a splash of wine to our Vizzy's because it really brings out the flavor of it. Cheers. Clink. Clink. Finally, the grill's ready and it's time to prepare dinner. We have a packet of vegetables to steam on the grill and two hamburger patties for burgers. We'll steam a little bit more. Mm. Steamed veggies, steamed grill, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, this smells really good. I wanna see if the potatoes are done. Oh yeah, they're done. Everything's done. Yeah, you can't really smell it, but it smells really good. Who says you can't eat healthy in a van? Uh, I don't know if veggies smothered in butter and salt and pepper are healthy, but. It really does look good though. Yeah, let me see, try these. Buttery, black peppery. Mm. Healthier than the french fries we usually eat with it. Nah. <laughs> oh, yum. Never mind all the condiments. I forgot the important part. Your glass of wine. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Perfect. Our journey continues along the Texas southern border. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow along and click on that notification bell. Thanks for watching.
It's three dollars, baby doll. Ooh, dang. Squirrel. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the door slammed from the wind. <laughs>